Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are staying happy, healthy and creative. I had almost forgotten the sense of that calm, creative studio vibe. Now that we have completed two months in Australia and the schools have finally reopened, kids have started this new educational year and that's the time for me to get in my creative space and get back into my creative routine yet again. However, I have to admit, I am seriously overwhelmed with all sorts of ideas pouring in. I consider this year 2024 as a transition year for me and my art journey. Keeping that in mind, I have given myself the freedom to let loose and explore all sorts of creative ideas that I want to learn and experiment. You might have seen a glimpse of that in my previous video where I was trying to bring back my uh, long lost love for glass painting. I can certainly say that this inspiration is coming from the nature around me. The colors, textures, patterns, the living beings, everything, each of the smallest element in nature is really inspiring and I am not missing to gather all these inspiration and admire this natural beauty. At times even these wildflowers come home with me because they never fail to spread positivity and beauty. Now that I do not have a fully equipped and functional studio space for my work, I am free to roam around and explore all these corners of my house and get creative as much as I want. As I mentioned earlier, the week started with a plan in mind to explore various different techniques and uh, the first phase was to create ruffle textures using these repurposed plastics. The process involves various stages of repetitive works and the first one was of course the previously shown one where I had cut down hundreds of smaller vertical strips of these plastics. Now I had uh, curved out the edges and then moving on to making holes on the folded ruffles. Since my creative practice involves a lot of repetitive process, it kind of gives me the flexibility to work in whichever environment I want. Even when I'm working on my dining space and my family is around, I can still interact with them, communicate with them and also work alongside take a pause if needed, resume the work from wherever I have stopped. So this is the flexibility that my work gives me. My plan is to work on a surface of uh, approximately 40 by 40 centimeter, but I never expected or calculated these many white strips to be cut down and bended and uh, assembled together. It was painstakingly uh, a long process and Believe me, it's never easy to work with such material for a very long time. And trust me, it gets overwhelming at times when you have hundreds of ideas working parallelly in your brain and you want to try out each and everything at the same time. In order to try something new, I was setting myself some deadlines to complete uh, with certain number of these textures to be completed in certain time periods so that I can move on and start something fresh, start something else. But all these efforts are worth it when you see such gorgeous texture shining beautifully in this daylight. This is a part that I was craving to explore since the past couple of weeks. So I got this set of uh, jewelry making supplies from the Facebook marketplace, including some beads and the jewelry findings. If you're someone who has been following my art journey since a very long time, you might be knowing that I started my creative practice doing small jewelries uh, created out of discarded plastics so I wanted to try out something new with those techniques 
create some organic textures or some botanical textures using the repurposed plastics uh, inspired by the things that I see around here. So obviously the first frame that came to my mind was of course botanical inspired by gum trees and gum flowers and I wanted to uh, try out um, something really bright and which reflects the beauty of Australian flora and fauna and I was definitely ready to give it a try. Back in Doha also I had uh, experimented with few jewelries and I had discussions with a designer to create exclusive uh, wearable artworks. So I wanted to pursue that direction and I wanted to see how much I can combine my art practice and the jewelry making techniques. Sometimes working with limited supplies becomes a blessing because when your brain is working on hundreds of ideas simultaneously, you can limit yourself with limited supplies and uh, get creative with that. That's kind of challenging, but at the same time, exciting. At this point, I'm really getting happy and excited about the result. Uh, this collection of earrings and wearable art will soon be up on my Etsy store, which will be a revamped version of my old brand Glassy Dreams. So stay tuned for further updates. This week got really exciting when I got this opportunity to learn something really new and interesting. This amazing textile artist Maggie was visiting Adelaide from New South Wales as part of her community crafting challenge where she was teaching the basic technique of lace making to the community of crafters where we sat together and created these beautiful leaves which are organically developed and created using thread and these will be part of an installation exhibition which will be um, live on the coming June in Sydney. On Saturday, around 30 artists and crafters from around the town gathered together at Adelaide Centre School of Art which is just nearby my home where uh, Maggie taught us the basic lace weaving technique which was incredibly elegant and sophisticated. Next destination for the week was of course the Art Gallery of South Australia where uh, the kids were enrolled to attend this start art program which happens on every Sunday, every first Sunday of the uh, month where the kids will have some creative activities uh, during 11 to 3 p.m. Uh, based on all the ongoing exhibitions at the gallery. We did not want to miss this opportunity to experience some amazing artworks around the gallery.
Hope you enjoyed watching this small weekly vlog. If you did, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Catch you on my next video. Until then, it's bye from me and take care.